Welcome to Channel 17, the Town of Colony Government Channel. Hello everybody, I'm Mrs. Grownie and I'm your storyteller for today. And when we start my stories, we always say hello and you wave to say hello. Can everybody wave? And let's sing our song. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? Yes indeed my darling and if you want to hear the stories what are you going to use ears. our ears that's right here we go hello to my ears and how are you how are you how are you hello to my ears and how are you yes indeed my darling then, if you want to see the stories, what are you going to need? Eyes. eyes. Ready? Hello to my eyes, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello to my eyes, and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. Now we need to warm up our lips. Are you ready? Yes, indeed, my darling. Today we're going to hear stories about nursery rhyme characters and nursery rhymes and I'm going to need your help because I have a basket full of things that represent different stories and I'm going to let you come up and pick something out. Would you like to be first and come to pick something out of my basket? You want to come up and anything you want to pick out of the basket. Oh that's a good one. Now bring it over here so I can everybody can see it. Thank you. And what are they? What is that? Love gloves or mittens do we sometimes call them mittens yeah. and that reminds me of the story about the three little kittens let's count our kittens one two three there they are those three little kittens and who do you suppose this is Santa? No, I think. Could that be the mommy cat? Yeah. That's the mommy cat. Let's see what happens. The three little kittens, they lost their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, I sadly fear our mittens we have lost. What? Lost your mittens? You naughty kittens. Then you shall have no... What is that? Pie. Pie. Meow, 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 meow. The three little kittens, they found their mittens. They found them. Two of them found them. <laughs> they found their mittens. And they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, look here, look here. Our mittens we have found. What? Found your mittens? You good little kittens. Then you shall have some pie. And what do the kittens all say? Meow, 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 meow. The three little kittens, they soiled their mittens. And they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, look here, look here. We have soiled our mittens. What? Soiled your mittens, you naughty kittens. Then you shall have no pie. pie. What do the kittens say? Meow, 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 meow. 
the three little kittens, they washed their mittens and hung them out to dry. Oh, mother dear, look here, look here, our mittens we have washed. What? Washed your mittens? You good little kittens. Then you shall have some pie. pie. And what do the kittens say? Meow, 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 meow. So those good little kittens. They found their mittens and they washed them up. And what did they get? Pie. Pie. All right. Well, let's see. Would you like to come up and reach in the basket now? Yeah. Come on up here. Here you go. What do you want? What do you go? Oh, you're going to pick that. What is that? Mouse. It's a mouse. And that reminds me of Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse runs up the clock. The clock struck, strikes one. Dong! And down he runs. Hickory Dickory Dock. Everybody say that with me. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse runs up the clock. The clock strikes one, dong, and down he runs, hickory dickory dock. And I come up and pick something out of my basket. Let's see what you're going to pick. Oh, what's that? A pig. That's a pig. That is a pig. And that reminds me, did you guys know that you have piggies on your feet? Everybody has to take off a shoe, one shoe. Just take off one shoe. Here we go. And this is our piggies. This little piggy went to market. And this little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Very good. Can put your shoe back on now. I need somebody else. Would would she like to come up and pick yeah, something? That's why you just come here. Okay, here he comes. Pick something. Oh, that's a great one. What? Go back to mommy now. There we go. Whoop! There we go. And who is this? It is a ladybug. Well, there's a nursery rhyme called. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire. Your children are alone. But I have another story about a very, very lazy ladybug. Let's see about this one. Are you ready to see, the, see where the ladybug is? Can you spot the ladybug? It's on the flower. The very lazy ladybug liked to sleep all day and all night. So she didn't know how to fly. One day she wanted to sleep somewhere new. But what she, could she do? She couldn't fly. Then Ladybug had a very good idea. When Kangaroo hopped by, bounce. Where do you think she landed? Where's the Ladybug now? Can you see the Ladybug? Right in the Kangaroo's pocket. Ladybug hopped into her pouch, but Kangaroo, you got to leave that there, dear. Thank you. But Kangaroo liked to jump. Bong! I can't sleep here, cried Ladybug. It's far too bouncy. So when Tiger walked by, we're going to look for Tiger. Oh, where did he go? land? Right on his back. Ladybug hopped onto his back, but Tiger liked to roar. I can't sleep here, said Ladybug. It's far too noisy. So when Crocodile swam by, let's see where she ended up. You, that's right. She's on Crocodile's tail, right? Yeah. Ladybug hopped onto his tail. But Crocodile liked to swish, swish, swish Mama. his tail in the water. I can't sleep here, said Ladybug. I'll fall into the river. So when Monkey swang by, let's see where Monkey's going to go. Do you see where he is? 
He's on monkeys. You have to look that way at the book because he's on monkey's head. He hopped onto her head. But monkey liked to swing from branch to branch. I can't sleep here, said Ladybug. I feel too dizzy. So when Bear ambled by... Elephant. Nope, this is a bear. And do you see he's up on his ear? But Bear liked to scratch. I can't sleep here, said Ladybug. He doesn't sit still. So when Elephant passed by, Ladybug hopped onto his trunk. Do you see him? At last, thought Ladybug, I found someone who doesn't jump or roar or swish his tail or swing or scratch. But at that very moment, Elephant sneezed, ah, ah, Choo! And Ladybug learned to fly at last. So he learned to use those cute little wings and flew away. Very good. All right, let's see. We need someone else. Could you come up and pick something from my basket? Come on up. You can come too. What do you want to pick? Oh, I like that. What is that? A star? star. A star. Very good. Well, first we're going to do twinkle, twinkle, little star. So everybody get your stars twinkling. And then we have a book about that, too. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Let's see all the places we go looking at those twinkling stars. And you can always see the star. We're going to start again. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. When the blazing sun is gone. When he nothing shines upon. Then you show your little light. Twinkle, twinkle all the night. Twinkle, twinkle little star. How I wonder what you are. Then the nomad in the dark. Thanks for you for your tiny spark. He could not, he couldn't see which way to go if you did not twinkle so. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Look at, and that's just like you guys in your bedroom looking out at the stars with maybe your cat and your puppets. Thanks for helping me sing that twinkle, twinkle, little star. Then could you come up and find something? Okay, what are you going to pick? Oh, you know who that is? This is Old King Cole. Old King Cole was a merry old soul. You can go back and sit down. And a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Can you say that with me? Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Excellent. All righty. Can you come up and pick something out of my basket? Well, let's 
see what she's going to pick. You can go. Oh, that is a good one. What is this one? A purse. Nope, it's not a purse. What do you think it is? Hat. Not a hat. Any other ideas what that could be? A pill. Excellent. Well, this is a hill. And this is Jack. And this is Jill. Here they go. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Can you all say that with me? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. That wasn't a very successful trip to get a pail of water. This is another story about a bucket. And this is Henry. And Liza tells him to go get some water. Okay, the next story I'm going to read to you is There's a Hole in the Bucket. There's Liza. There's Henry. Henry's working in his garden. Liza's on her front porch. Henry! Henry, water! There's Henry. He's very good. He's going to go right up to the well and get the water. He's got the bucket. He's getting the water. Does anybody see anything wrong with that bucket? No? Well, let's see. What's happening to the water? It's falling. It's falling out of the bucket. Why? Because it has a hole in it. There's a hole in the bucket. Mm -hmm. There's a hole in the bucket. Dear Liza, dear Liza, there's a hole in the bucket. Dear Liza, a hole. Well, fix it, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. Well, fix it, dear Henry, dear Henry, fix it. With what shall I fix it, dear Liza, dear Liza? With what shall I fix it, dear Liza? With what? With a straw, oh, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. With a straw, oh, dear Henry, dear Henry. With a straw. Going to get the straw. Got the straw, doesn't he? But the straw is too long, dear Liza, dear Liza. But the straw is too long, dear Liza, too long. Then cut it. Dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry, then cut it. Dear Henry, dear Henry, then cut it. Well, how shall I cut it? Dear Liza, dear Liza, well, how shall I cut it? Dear Liza, well, how? With an axe, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry, with an axe, dear Henry, dear Henry, with an axe. But the axe is too dull, dear Liza, dear Liza. But the axe is too dull, dear Liza, too dull. Then sharpen it, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. Then sharpen it, dear Henry, dear Henry. Then sharpen it. Well, on what shall I sharpen it, dear Liza, dear Liza? On what shall I sharpen it, dear Liza? On what? On a stone, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. On a stone, dear Henry, dear Henry. On a stone. And this is a sharpening stone. It's a special stone. But the stone is too dry, dear Liza, dear Liza. But the stone is too dry, dear Liza, too dry. Then wet it. Dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry, then wet it. Dear Henry, dear Henry, then wet it. With what shall I wet it, dear Liza, dear Liza? With what shall I wet it, dear Liza? With what? 
with water, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry, with water, dear Henry, dear Henry, with water. Well, how shall I carry it, dear Liza, dear Liza? Well, how shall I carry it, dear Liza? Well, how? In a bucket, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry, in a bucket. Get dear Henry, dear Henry, with a bucket. Do any of you guys see a problem with using the bucket? Yeah. What is the problem? It's a hole. Mm, there's a hole. Mm -hmm. Look at what he's done with the hole. What did he put in the hole so it wouldn't leak out? His, his finger. See, he's got his finger in the hole. Here's Liza. She's sleeping. Has she been very helpful? Hmm, no. But there's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza. A hole. <laughs> what is a solution for this problem? Does anybody think of a solution for this problem? Duct tape. Duct tape. That is a great Duct idea. Tape. Duct tape. Excellent. <laughs> Duct tape fixes everything. You are right. I think he's got the right idea. Duct tape. Very good. Who hasn't picked anything out of... Okay, come on up here. We'll get you next, okay? Pick something out of the basket. Oh, what's that? Block, 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 block. She picked a chicken. Okay. Or another name for a chicken is a hen. Big, fat hen. One, two. Buckle my. Say it real loud. Two. Three. Four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. And let's see how many chickens she has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She has ten little baby chicks. Good. Okay, your turn. Come on up. Let's see what she's going to pick. Pick another thing, okay? Pick another. All right. This is very good. Wait a minute. This candle. Candle. And this reminds me of the nursery rhyme. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. All right. Everybody say it with me. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Okay, we need some more helpers now. Can you come back again and be my helper? What is she going to pick? Oh, everybody's been waiting for that one. What is this? Flowers. Some flowers. And this reminds me of the little song about Ring Around the Rosie. Can we do that? Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Now, everybody has to make a ring, and we'll, uh, we're going to get the parachute Ready? out. Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Good job. All right, now you wanna you wanna pick something out of the basket now? Oh, you know what? 
That, what it, everybody sit down. You can sit down right here. What, what, what is that? Listen to this. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sport. And the dish ran away with a spoon. Can you say that with me? Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sport, and the dish ran away with a spoon. Very good. Do you want to come over and pick out something more? What's that? Well, let's see. Yeah, what are you going to pick out? <gasps> this is a very good one. What is this? A soldier. A soldier, and he's the Duke of York. Everybody has to stand up. And this is on the back of your sheets, moms. And we'll put the Duke of York right there. And this is the way this goes. The noble Duke of York. Ready? The noble Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up the hill, and then he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. Got to go down. All right, let's go back up, and we're going to do it. Everybody ready? The noble Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up the hill, and then he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. Down. Down, 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 <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, everybody down. Good job. Okay. All right, you pick again. Well, no, it's her turn. Well, let's see what she's going to pick. Aha! What is this? Tea. Tea. So we have to stand up because we're going to be teapots. Everybody up. We're going to be a teapot. Ready? Not on there. You know teapot. Ready? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, I just shout, tip me over and pour me out. I can change my handle and I can change my spout. Just tip me over and pour me out. Okay, everybody sit down. We're going to let you pick again. Ooh, what is that? A bone. A bone. Who likes to eat a bone like that? A dog. Well, he does, but you know what? Sit down. Sit down so everybody can see, sweetie. There we go. This is old Mother Hubbard, and she went to a cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. Let's see what happens. Old Mother Hubbard went to her cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare, so the poor dog gave a groan. Mm. She went to the butcher to buy him some meat. But when she came back, he was brushing his teeth. Everybody sit all the way down so everybody can see, okay? Thank you. She went to the market to buy him some fruit. But when she came back, he was playing a flute. She went to the bakery to buy him some bread. But when she came back, he was already in bed. She went to the doctor to make him feel better. But when she came back, he was writing a letter. Clever dog, huh? She went to the tailor to buy him a coat. But when she came back, he was writing a goat. She went to the barber to buy him a wig, but when she came back, he was dancing a jig. She went to the hat shop to buy him a hat, but when she came back, he was feeding the cat. She went to the shoemaker to buy him some shoes, but when she came back, he was watching the news. 
She went to the florist to buy him a rose. But when she came back, he was dressed in his clothes. The dame gave a curtsy. The dog gave a bow. The dame said, happy now? The dog said, bow wow. She never got his dog bone, did she? But he seemed happy. We're going to do one more. Could he come up and pick it out? Let's see what he picked I up. I didn't. You did? Yes, you did. Not two times. No? Well, then we better do two more stories. Right? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to let him, and then we're going to have you. I promise. Here we go. What's he going to... Oh, what is that? What is that? It's an egg. And you know what this one reminds me of? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Can you do it with me now? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Good job. All right, I promise. I'm hoping, oh, I'm hoping, because there's one that if you don't pick it, I'm going to pick it. What are you going to pick? I go first. Oh, that's a good one. I what is that? The it's the itsy bitsy spider, she says, and she's right. Are you ready? Get your itsy bitsy spider. The eensy weensy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the eensy weensy spider went up the spout again. Good job. Well, the thing I wanted to be picked out, nobody picked it. What is this? It's not a butterfly. It's not a bat. No, it belongs in here. This is a blackbird. And I, everybody sit. You have to be sitting for me to do this one. This is my favorite. Sing a song of six pence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was open. And the birds began to sing. <laughs> Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? See if you can sing it with me. Sing a song of six pence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty black birds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. <laughs> Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? Watch this. Oh, you flew them right back into the pie. Woo, good one. Oh, boy, you guys are good. Oh, Ooh, I got to catch them, don't I? You better get out your picture book. Ready? Put away your picture book. Put away your ball. Happy times go quick. By for people big and small. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to all. And thank you for coming for Stories Nursery Rhymes at the Library.